the debate is heating up for the Greenville County Library over what should and shouldn't be allowed on the shelves. Today, officials decided it was time to rethink one of those policies. Fox Science' Grace Runkel was at the Board of Trustees meeting. Grace, has the board taken any action? Well, it was a packed meeting today. Almost 20 people signed up to talk to the board, some calling on the board to remove certain LGBTQ books from the children's section and to put them somewhere else. Others spoke against that idea, saying that it violates one's right to read. But the board didn't take any action until the end of the meeting. Chairman Alan Hill turned his attention to the event guide, specifically the mention of a library sponsored book club. It's called the Rainbow Book Club. The description says, celebrate LGBTQIA plus literature with welcoming an inclusive community of bookworms. Hill says promoting the club like this compromises the library's neutrality. He says this makes it look like they endorse that community. Now, not everyone on the board agreed, but they did pass a resolution to look at creating a policy about how to stay neutral. We're not going to be able to be everything to everybody, but we're and certainly not be controversial um, where we're picking a side. In the meantime, the board decided to rename all of the book clubs to simply book clubs, so no more differentiating titles, and to change all descriptions to read and discuss, followed by the book's title. Now, it could be a while before that policy is actually created. The Operations Committee will take up the issue, but this year there's only been one meeting, and that was back in May, so of course we'll be watching. Tori, Justin. All right, Grace, well, we did hear from viewers that police were called to the Hughes Main Library downtown close to when that meeting was held. Do you know what that call was for? Yes, and you know, you might remember that police were called to the Traveler's Rest Library branch for possible obscene material a couple weeks ago, and this was kind of the same situation. A Greenville police spokesperson tells us they got a call saying inappropriate material was on the shelves at the library, but again, the officer found that nothing criminal was happening. All right, Grace. Thanks. And we have a live look to